Today we will animate our character and take the direction of movement into account. To properly animate our character we will use Sprite 2D. Animation player which will play the selected animations and animation tree which will select animation to play based on conditions we will set up later in this episode. Delete animation sprite 2D, we don't need it. So now we need to set up our sprite sheet for animation. I have cut out the character movement and idle sprite from the overall sprite sheet. You can download modified version of the sprite sheet from the link in the description. Use this sprite sheet and we need to slice the sprite sheet into individual frames by setting the horizontal and vertical count of frames, including empty or informational frames. Good. Now if you select animation player, you can open animation window. Where we can create a new animation. Let's make idle while looking down. When you are animating something, you are changing states of the nodes. And we are swapping sprites. So add a track and select frames. And now we set the frames we want to be played in this animation. By selecting frames, by cycling them using this field and pressing this button to add the frame into currently opened animation. We can create walk down similarly, so select walking animation sprite and add them. And now we will repeat same steps to create animation for idle and walk up, left and right. Now we need to cut the animation time based on the amount of frames you have. Always make sure to give some time for the last frame to work. And set our animations to be loopable by clicking here. Good. After this lengthy setup we are ready to animate our character based on the motion of the character. For this we will use animation tree. Reference the animation player. With animation node state machine. Then inside our animation state machine we can add two new states idle and move of type blend space 2D.
Our character will be idling when he is not moving, and when he is moving, we will play move. Connect start to idle. So our character will be idling at the start of the game. Connect idle to move, if character is moving. And back to idle when we stop. Good. To identify what state to play, we will use conditions. Those conditions are just like a boolean. We can set in, in the code. If is moving is true, our animation tree will switch to the move state and play the animation set in the move state. And if idle is true, our animation tree move back to the idle state and play the idle animation. Good. Now we need to manage this animation tree. So open the player script. To be able to access and set parameters on the animation tree, we have to cache the reference to animation tree. Use get node, get node of type animation tree, and pass the pass to the animation tree, which means it will look in our node for node with the name animation tree. And we do it inside ready, doing it when script enters the scene, essentially on start. Then in process, we will call and create a new method called process animation. To set up our animation condition, we need to identify if our character is moving. So make boolean called is moving. And to identify if our character is moving, we will check if input from player is not zero. Then we want to pass the condition to the animation tree. You can access parameter by its path, so drag and drop the condition from inspector. Keep is idle empty for now. Set the is moving condition by assigning is moving. So when is your character is idle, when he is not moving. So we can simply invert the is moving boolean. And if we are not moving, we will be idling. So let's test this. If you launch the game now, you can actually check the state of the condition of animator by opening remote scene. As you can see, our conditions are working, but the animations are not playing. Now we need to set up what animations will be played on what animation state. So activate the animation tree. To play animations, we need to set up what animation have to be played. Open the animation tree and open idle blend space. In this window, you can set up animations on the animation graph. Let's add animation onto this graph. Think about it as 2D representation of where your character is facing. Up, this point is up. So select animation idle up. This one is down. This one left. And this one is right. We will do the same inside move graph. Up, down, 
left, right, animation. So the animation tree will determine what animation to play based on state first. And then it will look inside this graph and determine uh, what direction of animation it needs to play. If you open the animation tree, you can see the blend position for both idle and move state. And inside the player script, we can save the direction we are facing based on the player input into a variable. We only update the facing direction if player is inputting something. If he is not pressing any buttons, facing direction does not need to be updated. and then set it as a blend position parameter for our animation tree. Let's test this. I messed up the animation for up and down. It's an easy fix. Inside our animation tree, select the animation state and swap played animation. Good. Let's introduce a proper control scheme. Open project setting and open input map. Here you will name your input command and press add. Then associate a button. When you are in this menu, you can press the button and it will be selected automatically for you. So let's make the input actions for up, down, left and right input from the player. Instead of using UI input actions, use a newly created input actions for four directions. By calling them by the name we have assigned in the input manager. Good. Our animations play is too fast, so we need to adjust length and spacing of the frames in our animation. While I'm doing this, I would like to request something. Just please click that like button or leave a comment.
Good. This looks much better now. This is it for this episode. 